You know what? Before I say anything on this video, first things first, Nigeria is blessed with so many talented singers. Guys, I just finished watching another episode of this new season of Nigerian Idols and I was blown away. I was blown away. I felt like I was in a ceremony where tons and tons of amazing singers were just simply serenading only me, just me, Gloria Elijah. These individuals, these contestants, they are so gifted. They are so talented. They are so skilled. Wow. But then we know that for every competition, there's always the best amongst the best. And so tonight was no different at all. So on this particular episode of Frankly Speaking with Gloria Elijah, I'm going to be shedding light on my best performances of tonight. And also I will be touching on some of those performances that did not really come out great. Yeah, um, basically just pointing out um, some of the errors that they had that made their performance not so great, right? So let's just quickly get into the video. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the T. Now, tonight on Nigerian Idols was the start of the theater week. Now, as at last week, they had had a selection process, yes, that saw um, the bulk of the contestants being divided into three different rooms. So there was room one, room two, and room three. Now, at the end of the night last week, the contestants that were put in room one, they were the ones that actually automatically gained access into the next round of the season's show. And the contestants that had been sent to room two did not make it through to the next round. Yes, for a lot of reasons. Some of them, they had flopped with their performance. Most of them, they had kind of just automatically gone into their shell. Yes, way different from the personalities that had actually come to audition the first time. Then some of them, they had forgotten their lyrics. They had actually flopped yes with their vocal range and then the contestants in room three it was more of like a 50 50 situation some of them they had been let out of the game and then some of them they had gained automatic entrance into the next stage and then moving on to the actual theater week that saw um, each of the 50 contestants paired with a fellow contestant to test their vocal dexterity guys it was a very very stiff competition yes these contestants they were fighting for a spot in the top 11 or maybe top 12 or whichever the judges decide to go with this season now moving on to my favorite pairs and performances of tonight let's start with um progress and debbie guys you see those two people hey it was a fire combo it was a perfect pairing whoever paired those two people together that person has sense that person that person is smart those two people oh my god listen it could have easily gone south because progress is an amazing singer progress auditioned last week sunday and i'm sorry guys i did not review last week sunday's show yeah last week sunday was my birthday so a girl needed to be pampered you know what i mean yes so um last week sunday progress had actually auditioned and guys you know where someone is singing and you've got goosebumps all over your body guys i was shaking omaomi was one of the judges for last week she was shaking as well i was speechless the judges were speechless i could not say anything and <laughs> listen i gave this guy a standing ovation in my house i said that now nah, this dude needs to get through to the finals of the show this season and i don't know if he's gonna win but he definitely needs to get through to the finals and so as i said him being paired with debbie it would have gone south yes his vocal prowess is out of this world his voice texture is heavy it is mind blowing and his range oh my days his range is endless like this guy can modulate over and over and over and over as if it's non-stop and then debbie on the other side she has a very very silky voice texture almost feeble almost weak but in the in the midst of all of that softness all of that silkiness there is so much strength and so guys progress could have easily overshadowed debbie but guess what they complemented each other's voices their chemistry was out of this world and just as the the judges commented it seemed as though there was some kind of love chemistry brewing between those two people because the way <laughs> the way they performed it was like lovers singing to each other and so they passed yes they moved on to the next round and then my second favorite pair and performance was chikuka and savior now guys 
those people's performance, it touched me. It touched me probably because of Chukuka's story. Now, for those of you who know, Chukuka made it through to the Theatre Week last season of Nigerian Idols, but that was where his journey in that season ended. He did not go any further than that. And so when I saw him during his audition last week, I was scared for him yeah because i noticed a number of things i noticed that chukuka had a major struggle with his vocal range he's one of those people that love singing with high notes but when he sings with a high note he almost crashes it's like you know shooting something into the sky and then that thing is coming down crash landing so something like that happened again tonight they were singing they were modulating and at some point he felt as though chukuka was almost going to crash land but then he controlled himself now i don't know who knows chukuka if you're watching this video please go ahead and tell chukuka to try to play safe when it comes to his vocal range when it comes to him trying to hit those notes otherwise he just might end up crash landing and going flat and yes of course they made it to the next round both of them inclusive and then my third favorite favorite performance of the night was from itoha and jordan guys jordan is the basketballer from um kaduna i think and then itoha is the choir singer from a church of course now guys you see those two people the way they sang and that thing that they did towards the end of their performance hey it wasn't only the judges that gave them a standing ovation guys i was blown away i mean you can hear my commentary from the video i recorded i'm like what what the and these two people they are so young how old is it all again it all is 17. i can't remember um jordan's age but these two people they are so young they are so fresh they are so vibrant and guys they are fighting they are fighting and the beautiful thing is both of them could have easily outshined you know each other but then their chemistry their synergy was powerful and yes of course they made it to the next round and then we had um abigail and gerald guys you see those two people i have no words they were just excellent it felt as though i was in um a real life music concert yeah a, a concert a show and i was seeing two professional singers and they were just blowing me away there was it was almost perfect guys it was almost perfect and listen i was watching them sing and perform without looking for errors because there wasn't there, there wasn't any to to see and you see these two people they are so professional in the real world and they are so great as singers that they could have easily outshined each other but they did not instead they complimented each other's voice and of course they made it to the next round and then there was also joel <laughs> those two people guys they had a narrow escape but i was grateful i was happy i was excited that they both made it to the next round listen guys both of them they kind of had a bit of friction during their rehearsals and they could have almost flopped their performance yeah because at some point it felt like they were struggling mm, sometimes they were singing and it felt like the words were just getting lost amidst all the entire performance but then it was very clear and obvious that these two people on their own they were great singers um joel himself he sounded exactly like labyrinth and then for matthew matthew has an amazing voice like guys i was just super excited that both of them aside their differences during their preparation for that performance they made it through to the next round now moving on to certain performances that i felt would have gone south there was the ochiora and remy duo the pair the combo guys i need to say this because if i don't say it i will not feel at peace listen remy is an amazing singer he is a professional according to him he has traveled to south africa he has traveled to different places he belongs or he's a part of um, one of nigeria's biggest mass choir but then i feel like remy has a problem with his um what do they call it now with his rhythm or with his pace of singing remy is very very slow I'm sorry, but the best way for me to describe it is Remy sings like a snail. You know where somebody is singing and he's like, ah, ah, ah. he is he is terribly slow. Yes, terribly slow. And I don't know because he tries to sound harmonious when he's performing or singing. Sometimes it's almost like he's going to get swallowed up by the entire performance and i was quite impressed with ochora's progress ochora naturally is a country music singer performer professionally in the real world and also yeah in the competition but then i was quite impressed and shocked that ochora was able to come out of his comfort zone and give 
a very very amazing performance and it really helped that both of them they played the guitar so the the symphony the the the, the synergy was simply out of this world however as i said before it would have almost gone south because of how draggy 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 remy was dragging the song and the performance and so if anybody knows remy here let's go ahead and tell remy to be very very careful that slow pace with which he uses to sing and perform it just might remove him from the competition sooner than he expects and then faith as well faith passed yes for those of you that remember mtn yellow star from 2020 faith was one of the um, contestants on that particular show i reviewed it i have the entire playlist on my channel you can check it out she's an amazing singer she also said that simi is an idol in real life well she did great but her partner did not do great and there was the banty and wisdom pair yes banty did well but wisdom did not do well and so banty passed but wisdom did not make it through to the next round um basically guys i'm not interested in the other ones that did not really blow me away the ones that i've talked about were the ones that i actually enjoyed and actually saw potential in in getting through to probably the top 11 or top 12 or whatever amount of contestants the judges choose to have for this season um, but this is my own perspective i would love to know yours so just go ahead let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i will see you all on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah if you are a lover of nigerian idols watch out for my next review next week if you are a lover of bibi and zamzi check out my channel there's a truckload of videos for you to keep yourself occupied with um that said have an amazing night's nice rest bye